Both Amazon Redshift and BigQuery are petabyte scale, columnar storage, data warehouses that integrate with popular business intelligence tools. With Amazon Redshift, you need to create, modify, resize, delete, reboot, backup clusters, reserve compute nodes for long-running clusters, and create cluster snapshots. BigQuery is completely serverless. You do not need to manage any infrastructure. In Amazon Redshift, you can optionally enable encryption for data at rest. In BigQuery, data at rest is automatically encrypted. In Amazon Redshift, you can load static data from Amazon S3, Amazon EMR, a single DynamoDB table, and remote host. You can load streaming data using Kinesis Firehose. In BigQuery, you can load data from cloud storage, cloud data store backups, cloud data flow, and streaming data sources. AWS Athena is a serverless object storage analysis service. Amazon Athena lets you run SQL queries on data whose schema is defined in Amazon S3. This can be extended to other sources, such as RDS, using AWS Glue Catalog. BigQuery federated queries are comparable, supporting cloud storage, Google Drive, and cloud Bigtable data. Both Athena and BigQuery on cloud storage are fully managed, including automatic scaling, so the service models are similar. In terms of data scale, both Amazon S3 and cloud storage offer exabyte scale storage. Amazon S3 limits buckets to 100 per account. Cloud storage rate limits bucket creation to one bucket every two seconds. But there is no limit on the number of buckets in a project, folder, or organization. In terms of query scale, Athena queries timeout at 30 minutes, while BigQuery queries timeout after six hours. <laughs>